to the top of Bar Castle and landed on the stone ledge of the little window with the red shutters. Behind the shutters was the saddest sheep in Ochwini, curly-horned old King Ram. His dearest friend, a black and white sheepdog called Sid, had disappeared. It seemed for good. The king was too sad to leave his flock and with Sid gone, his sheep had been left to their own disorderly devices. Some of them had eaten the grass right down to its roots and the once beautiful green pasture was looking shabby. Crow wanted desperately to cheer up her master. She tapped on the shutters and when King Ram opened them, she called, You'll love this, sir. Then she flew off to the sheep, calling out, OK, girls, hit it. One, two, three, one, two, three. Tap, shuffle, tap, shuffle, shimmy and twirl. In the field below, all in a row, 20 woolly sheep danced. With high kicks and hoof flicks and their heads in the air, they finished their routine with a flamenco finale. This was the best train they had been in a while. They bowed and looked up to the little window, hopeful of a smile. But King Ram just looked into the distance, sighed and closed the shutters. He's really sad, sighed one of the sheep. Yes, sad, added another sheep. Sad, they all barred. At dawn the next day, once again, Crow flew across the fields, through the woods and over the loch. Her eager eyes searched for any sign of Sid but it was to no avail. Once again, she flew back to Bar Castle and landed on the window ledge. She paced up and down, thinking of another plan to cheer her master up. Aha, I know. Sheep, we'll have a grass eating competition. The king likes the grass to look nice and neat and it's full of clumps at the moment. Crow tapped the shutters and King Ram opened them up. Watch this, she called and then flew down to the sheep. All in a row, please. First one to eat her way to the hawthorn hedge is the winner. Get ready. The sheep stood in a line, all set to munch. Let the chewing commence. The sheep took off chomping as fast as they could to hoover up the untidy grass. Crow urged them on from the hawthorn hedge. King Ram looked down at the scene with a bewildered frown. I feel a bit sick, groaned one of the sheep, slowing down. Another sheep slumped in the middle of the field and moaned. I couldn't eat another tuft. Dotted across the field, one by one, the sheep keeled over until only three were still in the race to win the chewing competition. Then two of them could eat no more and there was one sheep left. One more tuft, called Crow. One more tuft, one more tuft, barred the two runners up. The last sheep standing took another bite and chewed it very slowly. Finally, she swallowed the grass and stuck out her tongue. I think I might have won, she grunted, turning as green as the grass. She slumped against the hedge and burped in triumph. The other sheep raised their heads and cheered and everyone looked up at the window, hopefully. But King Ram simply shook his head, 
looked into the distance and closed the shutters. The sheep barred mournfully. He's still sad, said the winner. Still sad, said another sheep. Sad, they all echoed. At sunrise the next morning, Crow took her daily flight across the Ochwini fields with her beady eyes on the lookout. She knew that the only thing to make King Ram happy was to see his beloved friend Sid once more. Crow flew for hours, determined to find the sheepdog. Several times she thought she spotted a glimpse of black and white fur, but it was either a trick of the light or a wandering badger. Then, just as she was about to head back towards the castle, she spied a tumble of fluffy black and white creatures, and surely that was Sid in the midst of them. Crow swooped down and cawed. Sid raised her head and barked hello. Is this why you left Bar Castle to be with your new friends? demanded Crow. King Ram misses you so much. Sid smiled. Friends? These are my puppies and they are exhausting. I'd love nothing more than to return to the castle. My work with the sheep there would feel like a rest compared to looking after this lot. If you think the king wouldn't mind. Of course he wouldn't, said Crow. And once I've rounded up the sheep, I'm sure they would enjoy making a fuss of this little lot, said Sid. Of course they would, said Crow. Follow my flight. I know the straightest path through the fields and it's the quickest way home, especially if the pups are still a bit wobbly on their paws. Sid gathered her eight excited puppies together and told them to follow her. We're going to surprise my old friend. Back at the castle, King Ram looked out forlornly. Suddenly, in the distance, coming towards him, he was sure he could make out a black and white shape with a parade of little black and white shapes scampering closely behind. Could this be who he hoped for? As they drew nearer, King Ram recognised dear Sid being guided by his trusty crow. He trotted excitedly outside to meet her. It was the first time he had left the castle since Sid had been gone. You've come back, Sid. I've been so miserable without you. Now tell me, who are your new friends? Asked the king, nuzzling the little dogs kindly. I hope one day they will be my friends. But right now, these are my puppies and I must look after them, said Sid. I'm hoping the sheep can help so that I can get back to work. The sheep shimmied their woolly coats. They secretly missed their routine and longed to be herded again. Of course, said the king, beaming. Whatever you need, we will help and I can get back to my day job of keeping this wayward bunch in tow. He nodded at the sheep and added, I thought I had one friend in you, and now I have nine. How lucky am I? I'm the lucky one. I have my children, you, crow, and the sheep. I have food and a home. I'm so glad I came back. I did miss you all, smiled Sid shyly. We're all lucky, called Crow. Come on, everybody. One, two, three, one, two, three. Tap, shuffle, tap, shuffle, shimmy and twirl. Twenty sheep, 
a ram with curly horns and a sheepdog called Sid danced the day away. But neither that nor the happy cawing of crow could keep eight snuggly puppies awake. <laughs>